Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into it. Everybody's talking about this Ferguson trial that's going on right now where the cop got off. I've heard multiple stories of uh, what happened. I heard the uh, kid was robbing a liquor store moments before this happened. I heard... They claimed the kid had a gun, and in the end, there was no gun recovered. I also heard that the cop had a broken orbital bone from the kid. And when when reporters wanted to get medical records, there was no medical records ever given. They're like, we're not going to give medical records up, because I think it's all bullshit. And I think these people who are out there right now rioting and up in arms... What is burning down Taco Bell, burning down your neighborhood, or burning down your community going to do? It ain't going to change nothing. It ain't going to bring the kids of life back. It ain't going to bring the uh, kid uh, who got killed that night. It's the same thing when everybody was up in arms and says, well, Zimmerman was in the right because Trayvon Martin was the one who attacked him. Okay. And now all those same people are out there saying, oh, well, uh, Zimmerman's a weirdo because Zimmerman got caught for speeding, caught for, like, drugs. He's been in and out of jail. He's been weird stuff. And it's going to come down to the same thing. If this kid was still alive and the cop was dead, no one would be talking about the story. Because I've always said this, when when a white man kills a black guy, it's all over the news. And when a black cop kills a white guy, there's nobody talks about it. And it's not a race thing, it's not a white, it's not a black thing, it's not a Mexican, uh, Canadian thing. It's just about who was right. Nobody's going to know who was in the right that night. I'm not saying I know the fucking story, man. I don't give a shit what happened that night, to be honest, because I wasn't there. And I'm not saying I don't care about this. Yeah, some young man's life was uh, taken from this planet. But I'll say this. People out there stopped acting like thugs, stopped dressing gangstery, stopped acting hood, and maybe you'll be treated right. Uh, that is a stereotype. You see that you you see the people who dress like a thug and act and wear their pants half out their ass. The reason why they get stereotyped that way is because they act that way. If you see a white guy or you see like a a a, a white person dressing all nerdy, he, he gets uh, stereotyped as a nerd. You see a guy, a white guy in a cowboy hat. He's a, automatically a redneck. My my situation is, if you guys want to stop uh, getting maybe killed, maybe getting hurt by the police, stop acting a fucking fool. I don't care what you guys are going to comment on this video. Oh my god, you're racist. I'm not a racist because... Um, I hang out with black people, I hang out with Mexican people, so white and black and Mexican, it's not about that. It's about right and fucking wrong. Morals and fucking ethics, people. It's about, was the kid acting a fool that night? Did he rob the convenience store like they supposedly said he did? Or did the cop just take his aggression out on this kid? Was the kid up in his face? You never know, because like I said, I wasn't there, you weren't there, so you can't tell me why know what happened unless you were in that situation when that kid was taken from this planet. Nobody knows what went down. I don't know what went down. All I know is what they supposedly said happened. So that's just my honest, uh, my real honest uh, opinion. So, um, like I said, guys, I don't know really what happened, but... I just want to give you my opinion. And I want to say one thing like my uh, friend uh, Justine, right? She says, here's what she write. Uh, her friend says, the problem is no one knows the full story. He held up a gas station, I believe, at Knife Point and refused to. So he basically, like I said earlier, he hold, held up a gas station. And, and my friend wrote, he was an idiot and the cop felt threatened. And was doing his job. Plain and simple. And I gotta say this. If a cop is doing his job. Why do people look at it as a bad thing? It's the same thing if someone comes robbing to rob my house. To rob my car when I'm sitting in it. And I pull out a knife and stab the guy. Or I shoot him and kill him. 
Am I looked at as a bad person? No, it's either he was going to kill me, take my car, or I was going to end his life. And I wrote, well, it's it's still weird. Here's what I wrote. Well, it's still weird. I heard the cop got off. Like, he got off because uh, he killed the kid. You never know what happened if the kid had a gun, the kid had a knife. You don't know. It says, I don't think anyone will ever know the full story and the truth. This situation is crazy. And my friend Justine writes again, Yeah, that's true. It happens every day that a white cop kills a black person and it's never talked about. I don't see why this case is so huge now when it happens daily. It's a sucky situation, but... This riot is unfortunate. This riot is worse than uh, Wilson killing Brown. And the same thing. Why are people rioting? I don't know. And my thing is, like I said, if a black cop came out and killed a white guy, it would not be talked about. Because there was a video on Facebook where this white guy, uh, it says the white guy wasn't doing anything wrong and he got killed by a, a, a black cop. Nobody's ever talked about that situation. But anyways, guys, I just want to give you my opinion. I think this whole fucking situation is stupid. You shouldn't be writing because I'm looking at a live stream right now. And people are going fucking bananas, okay? You're burning down buildings. You're burning down people's uh, businesses, people's livelihood. For what? There's no point in doing that. All I'm saying is, is the kid dead yes did the kid rob a convenience store yes that's what they have on videotape that he was robbing a convenience store so with that being said the cop if he was threatened he had the right to defend himself that's the bottom line it would be the same situation like i said if you're sitting in your house right now and some dude comes busting through your door and let's say you have a hot pan in your hand and they're going to threaten your family, you have the right to take that pan and hit the guy in the head and save your family's life. So these motherfuckers out there rioting, grow up. And a lot of these people, they just go out there riot because they're like, well, it's something to do. Really? This town, from what I understand, is only six miles long. It's a small little community and everybody's going apeshit. Even the family of this uh, kid who died said, we want peaceful protests, not ape shit crazy protesting going on but with that being said guys it's a crazy situation but um i'll definitely talk to you guys next time but that's my uh little podcast for today remember to rate even if you hate comment and follow me here on speaker.com or if you're listening to this on my youtube channel let me know what you guys think in the comment section below Alrighty, bye bye